Hey guys, it's Lily. I'm back today with a new video. Today I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be shaving my face and also sharing some embarrassing stories. Before we get started, you will be needing um, a razor blade, like especially for your face. So this one here, this one's new. But even if it's new, make sure it disinfects it with alcohol because this will be going on your face. And some tweezers. I have these right here. And make sure you have a clean face. So, yes. Okay. Okay, so I'll just pull my hair back because I don't want to cut any of this. And I literally just start. Oh, you see that? Oh. Okay, well, that's nasty. Hold on, let's see. Let me see. Keep a paper towel handy so you're able to like wipe it off. Okay, and that's also like, I don't know if it's nasty, but I like to be able to see like all the hair that comes out of my face. Just making sure I get all the hair I don't want. Okay, so when did I first start like removing my hair? The first time I remember like actually like, but like when I started removing my facial hair, mostly like my mustache, um, was in middle school. So the first time I did it, I actually tried using like hair removal cream but it wasn't like the one for your face it was the kind for like your legs point is i was by myself this is how i did it i went to my mom's bathroom because she's the one that had it i don't remember if it was like for arms or legs but point is it wasn't for the face i just read the directions it was like you know whatever apply for like 10 minutes so that I go ahead and apply it in my upper lip, just my upper lip. And it starts burning, but I'm like, you know what? It's probably normal. It's not that bad. I was like, I can handle it. So I continue. I let it sit there for like the whole 10, 15 minutes. And then I remove it. And when I remove it, there was like, I don't know how to explain it, but it looked like my upper lip had been cut, but it was only like on one side. like. It looked like I actually had to like cut myself with something, but it was just a cream. And I was like, oh shit, what am I gonna do, what am I gonna do, what am I gonna do? I was like, what am I gonna tell my mom? What am I, like, they, my mom was gonna ask like, what happened to me. So I was like, you know what, F it, I'm gonna just tell her. And I told her that I grabbed one of my dad's razors and decided to shave off my mustache. And she actually believes me because it was only on one side and it did look like I had gotten cut like with something like that. I don't actually shave the sideburns, I just like like that. That's like the most I'll do for the sideburns. And then I'll move on to the mustache, so I'll just do that real quick. Cause I can't really talk when I do that. What I try to do is like make my face flat so it's easier. So I'll just go ahead and start doing the next side. So yeah, that's like the first time. And at least it was only on one side, because that way like you couldn't tell like what really happened it just looks like a little cut on my upper lip i remember there being other times like other times i actually did use my dad's razor because i was like if it works for my dad it should work for me and then my sister she has like her she's a cosmetologist so she got her like a little waxing kit so she started waxing my mustache for me and like mostly my eyebrows but then um a few years ago i stopped because Whenever I would wax, it, like, it just got really red, and I would start to break out. And I didn't like that you, like, okay, I don't have hair, but now you just see a bunch of little pimples. So I did that for some time, doing the eyebrows. So I just, for a long time, I just left my upper lip as is. Like, whatever, it's not that bad. I was like, I can live with a little bit of hair. That was until high school. And, you know... In school is when you start meeting boys or whatever okay so i was talking to this guy and we'd be fir flirting back and forth and he'd be like oh you know i want to kiss you next time i see you or whatever and i was like oh shit and i'm like he wants to kiss me but i'm like he's gonna see my mustache <laughs> that was the first thing like i thought of <laughs> like i didn't care about anything else i just came out my mustache like he's gonna see my mustache i don't want him to see my mustache he's not gonna want to kiss me if he sees it and i was 
like, okay. I'm like, I have to do what I have to do. I did not do the the hair removal thing because I've been down that road. Oops. I'd been down that road once. So I was like, nope. So I have to do the next bit, the next best thing. And that was have my sister wax my mustache. I got my mustache waxed. Um, long story short, oh, we didn't kiss. But yeah, I got a mustache wax. Yeah, that was it. I mean, I guess not that funny, but to me it was because it was embarrassing. Because I was thinking about like, instead of getting excited over a kiss, I was just thinking like, shave my mustache, my mustache, I have to like wax it. Can't see my mustache. And now I just use this little blade and get rid of it. Basically my face is done. I just do my cheeks and my mustache. There's no hair. But I feel like you can still see like that's where my mustache is, where it lives. Then I go move on to my eyebrows. This is where the tweezers come in. All right, so for a brow, they just like tweeze all the unwanted hair. They're like, my eyebrows aren't that bad too. Like I've actually been trying to keep up with them. There's times that they've been like, you can't even see a brow shape. I just have to go in blind. <sighs> oh man, I wish I would, I wish my eyebrows would have been hairy so I can really see the magic I do with them. What I do now, once I'm done with the tweezers, is grab my blade again and just do the top, the side, and you know, middle. I only use the tweezers for like the bottom and like a little bit of the front. Alright, so now for the center for my unibrow. Right, so the last step would have been just comb them up and cut that away. But I mean, if you're going for a more natural look, you can leave them as is. Okay, so I went ahead and did the other eyebrow off camera. So, this is the finished face. So yeah, um, that's it. That's all I have for today. Yeah, bye!